and welcome to this intermediate Pilates, focusing on the glutes. So this is going to be a 10 minute quick session and we're going to start off lying on our backs. Okay. So one of the most typical exercises for the glutes is the shot the bridge. So you want to start off with your chin tucked, your chest open, your ribs down, a little arch in the lower back and your feet hip width apart. You want to bring your heels a little bit closer to your bottom than you would if you were doing some abdominal exercises. Arms down by your sides, stretch your fingertips down towards your toes and we're going to flatten the back, tucking under, curling up, pushing your knees away and then dropping the ribs down first and curling your way back down again. Good. Tucking under, curling up, all the way to the top. We'll just get the basics of this one first curling back down again and then we're going to do some variations. Tucking under, curling up, pushing your knees away, scooping in your tummy, pushing through the heels and curl back down again. Make sure you keep your shoulders down away from the ears. On the next one we're going to stay up at the top. Good. So this is my favourite version of this recently. We're going to take one knee out to the side and come back up and then the other knee and come back up. Good. Keep thinking about that lower tummy. And keep breathing. So you're holding yourself up, but you're also using your glute knees on the side here to control the movement as well. Or to create the movement, I should say. Four more. Four, and tucking under, curling back down again. Brilliant. Reset your position before we start, because everything moves around a little bit when you're up in that, in that shoulder bridge. So tucking your chin, opening the chest, ribs down, find that little arch in the lower back, and you are set to go again. So tucking under, curling up, we're going to straighten one leg and push it out and come back down. If you place that leg down, tighten your bum and stretch out the other one. Good, place it down, take the weight on it and straighten out the other. Good. Seven, eight, nine. 10, can we do four more? Keep breathing. Three, four, amazing, tucking under. Coming back down again. Okay, another version, tucking under, curling up. I want you to lift up both heels, down, lift up both toes, down. You might not be able to lift the toes up very high. Good. Five, six, seven. Again, four more. Keep breathing. Three, four. Amazing. Tucking under and curling back down. Good stuff. Just one more in this position to use your gluteus maximus, which is the main big glutes muscle. So reset your posture, tuck your chin, open your chest, ribs down, tucking under, curling up. We're going to let go of one bum cheek and squeeze. Let go of the other and squeeze. So keep going with that, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze. So this is very important that you can let go of one of your bum cheeks and use the other. Good, so everything should be getting a little bit tired now. Four more, two, three, four, curl back down. Fantastic, bring your knees in. So it's all right if your backs are feeling a little bit tired there. It is going to be working a little bit as well, as is your hamstrings. As are your hamstrings, I should say. Good, all right. So we're going to be turning onto our sides for a little bit more focus on that glute knee. So we're going to tuck the bottom hip back, scooping and tucking under your bottom, push the top knee away from you a little bit, and for the variation for the intermediate, we're going to come up onto that elbow. Now I want you to push yourself up and out of that shoulder so you're not slumping down, drawing in through your tummy. Good, your feet should be in line with your bottom and you're lifting that knee. Good, 
was scooping in through the tummy. So this should be a slightly different muscle that we're working compared with when we're on our backs in the shoulder bridge. This is your glute knees. It governs the stability around your pelvis quite a lot. So, a good one to work. the legs up, feet up, the hip height. Keep drawing in that tummy, keep pushing out of the shoulder. Good. Doesn't matter how high that knee lifts. leg down, we're going to bring the top one forward and backwards like this. Good, keep working here. This is where the body wants to sway a little bit backwards and forwards. Good. Stretch that leg out and pulse it up and down. Amazing. Bring that leg down and then we're going to swap sides. Good stuff. So, same position. Feet in line with your bottom. You can go straight onto that elbow if you want. Tuck the bottom hip back. Top knee is slightly further away. Draw in the tummy. Tuck the bottom under. Come up out of that shoulder. Lifting the top knee. Good stuff. Again, it doesn't matter how high that knee lifts. You'll notice mine doesn't lift very high. You just want to make sure you're not rocking that top hip back. And breathe. Get some air into your lungs. Punch around your body. Go to your muscles. Helps them work a little bit harder. Good stuff. Keep up the hip height. Keep everything strong. And go again. It does help to keep focusing on your abdominals in this position. It keeps your bottom tucked under a little bit and keeps everything focused. It's good to have your hand here as well. You can have your thumb on the muscle that you're trying to work. I don't want you to feel it down through the leg too much. It should just be in your glutes. Fantastic. Drop that bottom leg down, top leg forwards and backwards. Keep the foot strong at the end of the leg there. Just a little detail, but it just keeps you focused on what's working, keeping everything strong as the leg goes forwards and backwards, stretch it out and pulse it up and down. Good work. Okay. And then the last exercise here for the glute one of my favourites. We're going to be coming over to the side, one hand on the ear here. I come onto the fingertips there because it means that you're not putting your weight fully down and we're going to be pulsing that leg up and down. So off we go over to the side, stretch that leg out and pulse it up and down. That weight bearing knee should be underneath the hip as much as you can. Ten, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. All right to see to feel both glutes on this one. Over to the other side and up and down. And last ten. Amazing. If you sit with your legs crossed and up tall, leaning forwards into it, then you can stretch off those glutes a little bit. So thank you for participating in this lovely 10 minute intermediate glutes Pilates session. Um, follow the rest of the channel, please subscribe um, and make sure you have a look at the other two intermediate workouts for the abdominals and for the arms and you can put all three together to get a lovely half hour